Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We are talking about memories now. And we have heard something about an SR memory and it can be edged, triggered and so on. Uh, and today we want to take such SR memory and use it as a base element to reach other behaviors. All right? We are talking about flip-flops today. Yeah? One special type of flip-flop. I will tell you how it looks inside. And well, like I said, we're starting with an with an SR edge triggered SR memory. So here we have the symbol of this SR memory. Uh, this was looking like this. Uh, then we had the trigger input, then we had here the S and the R resulting in a Q and not Q line. Uh, so here are the outputs. Uh, here is the input. This here is this here is uh, C line. And this is Q and not Q. Right? And actually what I'm doing I is I'm I'm connecting now the not Q line also to this input and the R input I'm connecting to the Q output. Hmm? Now let's think what is happening. Let's first assume yeah, we have, well here I'm going to draw the C, hmm? here I'm going to draw Q and not Q. Hmm? And actually what this is, this is the timing. Okay, so these are the signals. Yeah. Let's say in the beginning Q, C is not here. Yeah. Let's say Q is not here. So not Q must be here. Yeah. And now we have a rising edge. Yeah. So here is a rising edge at C. I'll mark it red. Uh, rising edge here. This is a triggering edge. So here something is happening. Yeah. So this is the triggering edge of the signal. Okay. Now let's see. Not Q is 1. So this means S is 1 and R is 0. So whenever I trigger, now it takes a while. Yeah? So there is a latency time. So those two will change because the memory will be set. Yeah? It simply will be set. Here we have a short TL, latency, delay time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we set this. Yeah. Now let's see if C is changing to zero again. Nothing much will happen. Yeah. And with the next rising edge, here we have the next rising edge, the next triggering edge. Up to here everything stayed the same because there was no reason to change. And now let's see, Q is 1, so R is set and Q, not Q is 0. So this will be reset. So after a short while, after the same latency time, we will change again. Change again and then we have the next rising edge and now we have actually with this rising edge we have actually absolutely the same situation as we had here yeah? so we will change again Zack, after a short while after this latency time Zack, we will change and now i mean it's no secret i will draw it i will finalize the drawing now because with every rising edge the output will change. Huh? So here are the triggering points and the output will simply be exactly not the output as before, like said with a short latency time always because those electronics inside there, they need some time 
to move the electrons to react simply. Hmm? That's it. Huh? The output is talking, right? The output is talking. This is why the name is also called T flip flop. Or TFF, also often used. And this T means toggle flip flop. All right, that's. And now let's have a look at the timing. All right, here we have the C input. This is a certain timing. So here we have a period time of TC. Okay, and now because every second is turning the output over, if we have a look at this period time, that's TQ. DQ. Then we realize, aha, look at that, DQ is two times TC. Huh? So DQ equals two times TC, because every second rising edge is triggering. Huh? This is why this is also called frequency divider. Huh? This is acting as frequency divider. this stuff. Huh? Uh, after, after the T flip flop, I have only half the frequency. Frequency divider. There's also a symbol for this. Huh? There's a certain symbol. For the TFF. TFF forever. <laughs> uh, it looking like that, yeah? looking pretty much the same as the memory symbol above. Yeah? However, those S and R stuff, this is no longer there. Here we have Q and not Q. Yeah? Here we have the C input. Yeah? We have Q and not Q output. That's it. That's the symbol. Yeah? However, there's still something missing. That's here. Somewhere at, at Q, not Q, or Q must be a, a block. Yeah? And this, this actually means, yeah, this here, this, this is the initial value. The initial state of the T flip flop. Yeah? It's marking. If I power this up, if I first plug it, not Q will be selected. Okay? This is the initial state. So I have here not Q. We have a Q, we have here the C, huh? and this thing here is triggered by rising edge. Huh? Trigger, this is rising edge. There is also, would also be the possibility to be triggered by the falling edge. Yeah? Then the symbol looks a little bit different, but pretty much the same. So here the base symbol is the same. We have, of course, again here this trigger input. We have again this Q and not Q. We have again the initial value. We have again the outputs, of course. Yeah? And here we have a not. This is the only difference. Then we have here C, and here we have again Q and not Q. This is triggered by falling edge. Then we would not trigger here, but here. But the principle, the working principle is the same. Often you also have a T input in such toggle flip-flops. A T input is enabling the toggling. I want to show you how this looks inside. So we had, I will draw this one again here. Yeah, so we have here this, this memory, also called SR flip-flop with S and R inputs. So we have here, zack, zack, I will 
only draw it for rising edge, okay? ASR, Q, and not Q, yeah? Zack, the outputs, yeah? Here is the C line. Have you seen the C line show? <laughs> C line, of course. Yeah? And here we have Q and not Q. And then we're adding two logic elements, yeah? Before, one here, one here. And those two logic elements are AND elements. Mm -hmm. And actually, we are not directly connecting to S. We are from here. We will connect to here. And from here, we will connect to here. Okay, and only from here we go to S and R. What, what is the meaning of this? Well, we are adding here an, initial, an, an additional input T. Yeah? This we will divide. And now you see that toggling only works if T is here. Okay, if T is logically 1, the AND will pass the signal and, and the toggling works as before. If T is not here, the talking is stopped. So with T, I can select if the talking is stopping. On the symbol, it would like would look like here T T. Huh? That's it. Huh? That's a toggle flip flop. The explanation of a toggle flip flop and how it works internally. Based on this toggle flip flop, we will discuss another form of flip flop quite important form of flip-flop. Uh, we are combining somehow the function of this SR memory, uh, SR flip-flop, and the T flip-flop, and we don't call it as SRT, we call it JK flip-flop. Uh, JK flip-flop, how this is working, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.